very happy. Well, I've never had a homeowner not happy that they're going to over budget because they realize they get one good deal. How do we pick our projects? A lot of them come from the mailbag and, and email. We get about eight to 10,000 letters and emails a month from people wanting to do, uh, do their house. A lot of them think that we pay for it, so those people go away quick. But the letters come, and some of the letters read like, I live in this little ranch house right here. We've lived here with my two children, close to work, great neighborhood, wonderful yard, but we need more space. Can you help us out? We went and looked at them, loved the homeowners, loved the space, thought it was a great idea. We then hired an architect to give us a new facelift to this home. If you look close, below the red line is the little brown ranch house. And these homeowners, like all of them, not all of them, but most of them, did go over budget a little bit. But this was one of the last projects that sweat equity actually worked. Sweat equity is when the homeowners want to work alongside you, and they want to do something in the process, like with the insulation, or they want to do some taping, or whatever they want to do, it's saving time, saving money. This homeowner actually took time off of work and worked alongside the crew every single day. He was a very hard worker, Brian Igo. Great guy, hard worker. And that was actually one of the last times that uh, our homeowners actually got involved because it is a tremendous amount of work. But Brian and Jan, when we started the process, as soon as they went on air, they walked around the local town that they lived in and they started wearing sunglasses because they thought they were like movie stars. <laughs> it's just PBS. But uh, our oldest project ever, 1710, needed a little bit of work. The siding is junk. The windows were trash. The roof had a big hole in it. The chimney had a huge hole in it. The front door was a couple of boards nailed together, a lot of leaks, a lot of drafts, the floors were crooked, the sills were rotted, and the house was leaning back seven inches. And that was the letter. We lived in the oldest residential home, and we'd love to do a little addition, and that's what caught our eye. So when we pulled up to it, we saw it, I said to the homeowner, I said, you have $140,000 to spend on this house, for this addition. I said, it's going to cost $100,000 to fix the house. And they said, no, no, we don't want to fix the house. The house is fine. We love it. It's old. It's charming. I said, really? I said, the floors are crooked. All this. They said, yeah, that's charming. We just want to add on. It's their money. So we helped them. So we added on. Put a beautiful addition on. Radiant floor heat. Pole work. Super insulation. But this is how they won. The manufacturers that donated the windows, they donated the roof, they donated the side, they donated the kitchen cabinets, donated the heating system. They all said, we would be more than happy to help you out with that addition as long as you put our product on the building itself. So they had to then pay us to renovate the building, but we used their material. So did they go over budget? Yes, they did go over budget, a little bit, but for that budget that they went over, would far surpass the amount of work they got done on the house. They got a great deal. So, in, in, and I would say that you know, the homeowners are always happy when they go over budget because they realize that they get a good deal.